Hi everyone and welcome to Audition Talks. I'm your host, my name is Yelena. I'm a violinist and I'm one of the first members of Audition Rebels. And I'm very passionate about this program because it's given me amazing results. I am happy to welcome you to this first episode of the series of interviews. And today we have a very special guest, uh, the violinist Andres Gabetta, who pursues a very diverse career. He performs as a soloist, he performs um, in uh, classical, traditional orchestras, and he also has found with his sister Sol Gabetta, he has created this baroque group called Cappella Gabetta. So Andres, welcome. I'm so happy to have you with us. Thank you for <laughs> doing yes, this. Irina, very happy to be here for Allegiant Rebels. So my very first question is about what I just said. How do you manage this diverse career? You perform as a soloist. You are the concertmaster of uh, Les Musiciens du Prince, uh, an orchestra based in Monaco, and you perform in symphony orchestra in sections such as Symphony Orchestra Basel. Uh, so how do you manage all of this? Well, actually, it's very no, it's uh, it's uh, it's very interesting because uh, it's very different. You know, the work as a, as a soloist, as a concertmaster, or as or is the range in the in the orchestra. Uh, I have to say, in uh, I begin, you know, in ninety actually ninety eight, many years ago, in uh, Basel in Symphony Orchestra, and uh, I have to say that's open, you know, uh, um, another vision from the music because when you are in the range, you see and you can hear the the music from another point of view, and uh, and I think it was very important for my development because uh, that's you hear the thing more in uh, in um, not just, you know, with as violinists, we have the tendency to hear just the top of the voice and not to, to have a polyphony view of the music. And, uh, and I would say playing in the orchestra many years opened me this, this view from this poly polyphonic view. Yes, and that is very important enough for the, for the work that I'm doing now. Uh, conducting groups and, uh, and and performing as as a conductor or as a soloist, yeah. That's great. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that because as a violinist, I also I melody, you know, always. But yes, uh, orchestra yeah, very, opens yeah, very often just close for the melody. You know, we hear just that, and it's very important for the music, you know, for, and for 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 a development for 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 a musician to to develop this this. Um, yeah, polyphonic view of the music that very often is missing for, for, the, for the violin players. Um, so you're often in the juries uh, for auditions. So what is the criteria that you choose people? What are the qualities you're looking for in the candidates that you listen to? Well, of course, you know, first, first point will be, of course, uh, a high level, technical high level. I mean, everybody has to be prepared really uh, really well, and uh, and I would say more as well because it's uh, in the auditions. You know, the the level of stress is big, and uh, let's say we have to be prepared like two hundred percent to rent. You know, maybe eighty or ninety <clears throat> because it's really uh, a big difference between um, audition or concert. With a concert, you you take energy you know, from the public. You give a lot but you take energy as well from the public. And in audition, you just give, 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 give. And, um, and if you're not prepared 200%, uh, it's sure then, then you will not manage because it's uh, the stress makes, you know, your rendement, it's, it's lower as, as your normal performance. And it's, that is a point A. Second very important thing for me, it's I need musicians. And very often, I think, you know, especially for example, for the first tour, it's uh, you have like 40, 50, 80, 90, it's depending in France more, maybe 90, 100, 150, because everybody's invited for the, for the, um, for the competitions, for the auditions. And then uh, you have sometimes 100, 150 people and you hear Mozart fourth or fifth, uh, like uh, 50 times the same concerto. And uh, <clears throat> let's say, yeah, maybe you have, you know, 10%, or even less people who you will say, okay, 
no way. But the rest, it's a, it's a more or less the, the same level. And you have to captivate the attention from the, from the jury in the, in the few first seconds. That is, for me, really very important. And how to cultivate this attention? I think it's preparation, of course, very important. And uh, in this, let's say, for me, it's maybe the 10 first bars. You have to create uh, attention in the music. Then people, you know, you have like the jury, maybe 40 people in the jury. And uh, why they want to hear you in the next three minutes, you know? And for that, it's very important in, in these first 10 bars to take the attention from these people. I guess, you know, for me, at least, you know, the attention will be, of course, per technical perfection. That, it's, that is the, 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 the let's say, the, the most important thing. But after that, you need to, to yeah, how do you say, wake up the interest of the, of the jury, maybe with, uh, with something special in your musical way. And I think it's, it's very important to, to tell us history, you know, and not just to play notes. And uh, for me, I think it's very important as well to take the risk to, to make music, to try to make some music also in an audition. And that that's could be, you know, the difference why people will vote for you and not just for the other 50 candidates. The musicality, you think, is the key element I mean, it's it's not only because technically you have to be perfect because you can be very uh, great musician, but if, if you don't play the notes, it doesn't work. I mean, the, the the notes and the perfection have to be there. But this perfection, maybe I will say, you have a, yeah, you have seventy percent from the candidates who have that, and you have to to arrive to to make a difference between you and this other seventy percent. And you have to add something more. And I think tell a history and 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 be convinced. What are you doing with this Mozart? I think is very important. Mm, yeah, you just mentioned in the beginning of your um, of this answer. You mentioned stress. Um, how do you manage stress? Do you have any tips? Because I know you perform with your colleague, which is the most difficult thing to do. So do you have any things you do, any rituals and any tips on that? Yeah, I think, you know, make auditions even with your colleagues. I mean, in, in orchestra time, you know, already the people, it's, I think it's most of the worst things can happen for a musician. It's a nightmare. Um, normally, you know, young people who, who, who go for a, for a audition, will, will be, that will be not the case, you know. Affordably, you know, it's you don't have this supplementary stress. Uh, myself, I, mean, I think it's very important to be connected with your with your um, respiration, you know, with your breathing. Yeah, breathing. How you how you breathe? How you are connected? You know, your mental with your yeah with your breathing. For me, it's it's really important. That it's a point uh, uh, really really important. Another thing, it's don't be thinking you know in the in the difficult things then you could make a mistake you know because very often you know we are in a in a passage you know you are, you are thinking oh my god this note oh my god will arrive will arrive and when I arrive will be brown and i think it's it's very important you know you prepare a lot at home you play that's wonderful then just perform and yeah come on i am here i am the best and i do my best and another point, I think, in audition, it's, it's really a problem also you have in audition very often the typical uh, good players behind the curtain, you know, they, they just play very, very well and very loud in the hitting room. And uh, psychologic, in a psychological way, it's, it's complicated for, for the other ones because you think, oh my God, this guy, it's amazing. Or this girl, it's amazing. You know, they play really well, fantastic. And you, you just, you know, you, you put information at your brain, you know, to go down because just this guy or this girl, you know, is playing fantastic in the hitting room, but you don't know at all how, how he or her 
are playing, you know, in in the in the in the audition. Then just think and be concentrated in your music and what you have to play, and don't let you influence, you know, from people in the hitting room. That is very important as well. This is personally so hard for me because when I'm in the room hitting, uh, you know, warming warming up before the audition, I see all the people around me. I get affected and especially you see you know people go play and come back like sad with sad faces and you know you're gonna be next like yeah what you said like in that room with all those people it is so crucial to I get really affected by that personally yeah it's very important I think you know to focalize with yourself and uh, you have many people you know who are the the kings uh, or the queen you know from playing very well at the heating warming up room but it's maybe it's not the case you know in front of the jury then don't get influence you know from this uh from these people and just think what did you prepare then you are well prepared and do your best that's the really the important thing yeah that's all we can do uh, my next question is about because you are such a great specialist of baroque music um I, I want to ask you the style to play Mozart. It was the right style. All the musicians are asking. Obviously, I don't know, you wouldn't recommend playing in the Baroque style for the traditional symphony orchestras, obviously, but what should be kept in mind and what do you, how do you think Mozart should be performed? Yeah, it's, it's what I said to you before, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty difficult because I, I, I try to, to have a look, you know, with, with my colleagues. Uh, from Basel, and uh, it's very interesting because you know, I try to to have a, I look you know at the same people, let's say five six colleagues, and and during a, a audition, and and I try to analyze if we more or less we vote in the same way, and it's very funny because from these six people we have someone, sometimes you know three of us or four of us, so we vote for one, the other, in the next candidate, maybe two of us and the other ones we say no. And it's really totally different, you know? And I was surprised to, I tried to find um, common points, you know, to say, to be possible, you know, to say to the people, look, um, I think if you play in that way or that way is the way to play Mozart. And I think it's, it's really, complicated and really difficult to say that. But one important thing that I realized in, um, in, the, in the auditions you have, let's say a part of the of strings, then uh, for example, if you make an audition for violin, you will have, for example, in Basel, you have like uh, 15 violinists here you, and you have maybe 15 or 20 also just other musicians, you know, we have hornets, trumpets, clarinets, flutists, oboists. And these people don't mind, you know, about the motto, the difficulty of the scale on the on the third line or or this kind of things. They they want just to hear, you know, something convincing, you know, that just something you, you have to tell a history. And it's it's why I said at the beginning, I think it's very important to, of course, to be really prepared because you know they don't mind if the scale is difficult or not. They want to hear just very clean. That's that's of course. Uh, but then you know between you and another candidates, the, th the thing we, we will make a difference is because you tell another history. And I think it's more important you know, about also this, this, this separation, Baroque Mozart, I mean, classic Mozart or, or old fashioned Mozart, I think it's music, the most important thing, you know, with a weak, big M, you know. And uh, I think if you are, if you're telling us uh, I mean, telling to the jury uh, a real history, and, and, and yeah, you 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 really thought what you want to say, and you you really transmit something. I think people don't mind if it's a it's a let's say more traditional Mozart or a, or a more actual today Mozart. I think both have the chance to to go through the the selection. But have to be something common sense. I mean, if you play a, a, a bar in a correct style, then I would say a correct style. But you are like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm disturbing you with this kind of Mozart. You have no chance. And as well, you know, with a traditional Mozart, if if you're saying, look, that's my Mozart, I think it's like that. 
I think you you will convince many people from the from the jury. Mm. So it doesn't matter if you do vibrato, how much vibrato, uh, and uh, the sound production. No, of course, you know if 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 there are limits, but but if you are someone because I tell you what I think, you know, it's I think an orchestra. What is interesting is an orchestra for me is like a, a mosaic, you know, and it's uh, many personalities, you know. And these many personalities make the, the this picture interesting, you know. If you have every musician just formatted, you know, like like a machine, then it's, then it's better to go to a fabric, you know. Then it's not anymore music. And for me, I don't mind if people play a Mozart with a big vibrato. If people another one will do with an, in, in a more today style, and I think that is work for the conductor to put all this personality together and make music in the same way. For me, it's very important to have a great musician. I don't mind um, more all praxis um, uh, guy or, 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 or more, more old fashioned style. I don't mind. I need just someone who tell a history, who plays well the instrument and uh, who are I'm interested musician. That is important for me. Yeah. Uh, my next question is a bit personal, but I'm so curious. As musicians, you know, many of us have gone through those challenging times in our lives when we question ourselves, we have doubts. Um, have you had something like that? And if yes, how did you come out of it? Uh, yeah, of course, you know, it's, uh, you know, I, 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 went my position in Basel, I was very young. I was like, uh, 20 or 21, something like that. And I was very happy. And, uh, and the first years, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, and after some years, of course, you know, it's, uh, everything became uh, a routine, you know, could be, can be the orchestra, can be your solo career and everything became a routine. Uh, myself, I, I love a lot of things, you know, I love uh, airplanes, I love boats, I love a lot of things. And um, at that time, uh, actually with, with 23 or so, I thought, okay, I, I want to make something different as music. And I, I made my li pilot license and I was thinking to, to be a pilot, professional pilot. And at the end, I was very lucky because actually I love my musician life. And uh, I discovered the, the old praxis and uh, I went to study. I was, uh, I was very lucky to, to, to meet uh, Christoph Kwan. And we, get, we began to, to, to make um, chamber music together. And I spent like 15 years with him make, making uh, classic and baroque music with him. And was for me like, um, ah, he opened me my mind, you know, for, for all this re repertory and then I began to make my group and other things, and uh, and I have to say, yeah, that's. Uh, I think it's very important to be curious all your life because it's. Uh, but I, I mean, it's not only with the orchestra. I think you know, with with your life in general, it's very important to more you can bring, and also from life from outside, you know, can be in the music, can be in other things will bring more interesting to this, to your playing and to, for, to this kaleidoscope, you know, this mosaic that we spoke before, you know, and I think it's very important. And that is something which is very good. You know, it's if, if you have the chance to, to work in an orchestra and to do also chamber music at the side, to do other projects, it's very important, you know, to be curious in that. And because you, you will develop other things who, who will make you always better performing. Mm, yeah. Um, if you could give one advice to people preparing for auditions, what would it be? Perseverance, patience, uh, work, conscience. Because very often I, I, I hear people and they, I think they don't hear themselves. You know, they just repeat hours and hours the things uh, and sometimes say, but he's not here himself, you know, it's, uh, it's not possible. And uh, another thing also is very important, uh, very often people, you know, they focalize just, you know, with the Mozart and, and all the 
the romantic concerto, and they are not prepared until the end of the of the um, audition. And uh, it's very decisive as well. You know, once that you go through this this first Mozart, it's very decisive. You know, also the final. And uh, I realized in the many years, many people just prepare more or less. You know, the the orchestral parts. And I think it's it's a big mistake because it's uh, it's really important. And as well, you know, it's for <clears throat> I think for for the maybe for the violin players, uh, they will say they will say, yeah, we, he made a fantastic Mozart or a nice uh, Beethoven or Brahms or Tchaikovsky or Sibelius, and they don't mind. But for for the winds of the orchestra, you know, they will be with the with the with the music. And they will be checking just every single piano for the accents and and and, and if you're rushy a little bit or not. And that's and that it's very important to to prepare this um, this audition parts, uh, this orchestra part, sorry, as um, the concert of your life. Even if it's I know you know it's very difficult to play this music alone because it's it's music written to don't play to don't be played alone. It's really complicated. And that will be a really a different a difference in the in the final. Yeah, the excerpts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Andres, it's been so nice chatting with you. Really interesting. Um, how can people find you? Where can they hear your music? Well, it's you can find me in my in my website. It's andresgaveta.com. And you have uh, all the concerts there and everything. It's uh, I stay inside all the information, all the contacts and uh, all my activity. Wonderful. We will list all the notes below this video. You can find all these links and information below this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for um, me. It's a pleasure. Thank you everybody for watching and see you next time. This was Audition Talks, series of interviews from Audition Rebels with expert musicians sharing their insights on auditions. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and share it with friends.